WA3 VJB and a group from N2DTS. Yeah, I know. You uh, you were talking about putting some front panel adjustments on there, but my my opinion is that once you get it set, uh, you ought to leave it alone. Of course, in your case, you're going you're trying to use that box on more than one transmitter, and each of them has its own frequency uh, template for which you want to optimize it. So yeah, maybe it does make sense to have some front panel adjustments. I, I know your work on the the Nuvo 75 was wonderful, and you can probably find some space on the side panels to uh, to put the extra controls on there that you wish. Now uh, I seem to remember there was a good a good bit of sheet metal on the on the side and uh, some height inside the cabinetry on the far side of the power transformer to be able to put that in there and not have any problems with access. So yeah, good luck on that. Take some pictures if you would and I'll uh, I'll post your work. Um, Rob had mentioned that Facebook page and some of that's on there. And of course, if you're going to get another uh, super senior, uh, I'll also post it over on that page where that I help manage it. So uh, people who have the super senior are very interested in the Max because of its peak limiting capabilities. And your comments are good about how it uh, does a good job of snuffing those peaks in a gradual roll-off kind of way of the uh, the amplitude of the peak. It's not a sharp chop that has an audible, audible effect to it. It's uh, much more similar to the DBX-166 that uh, rolls off. They call it peak stop. And it uh, it rolls off instead of makes a square wave out of that uh, amplitude snuffing function, and it makes for a nicer a nicer sound as a result. A very good Bob on the uh <laughs> <laughs> your own desire for the Max audio presser. Yeah, you know, not everybody has access to the kind of stuff you've got in the rack there, and I think that's Clark's thinking. I know it's Rick's thinking that you know this is meant to be something that. Uh, works around the problem of retired broadcast gear with a high price tag and uh, other gear that's not really as adaptable to what we do here. I haven't talked to uh, to Joe yet, Brett, on your Schlockwood, but his preliminary uh, audio file that he sent me from a Kiwi SDR node about 15 miles away from him sounded quite good. So in his application, it sounds like it's going to work out quite well instead of the Max Audio Processor. So I know he's delighted that he was able to get that from you. W1WOR in the group WA3VJP. Good signal, Rob. This uh, has to be the Super Senior. Yep, W1WR, and it's the Super Senior. Yeah, um, Brett, we, uh, we got the 80, uh, 8160 we had uh, we bought from uh, Bruce in 2018. Never spent too much time on AM on uh, 40 meters, and uh, now it's more active there. Uh, we decided to um, upgrade, and we found one uh, up in Maine from a guy who had, had only for a couple of months there, end up with a solar panel farm up the street there, and just discouraged him with AM there. So we uh, got that there quick there. Didn't have to wait for the whole 30 days or whatever for uh, Bruce to build that. And uh, so... We got that in line yet yeah, with Clark's there with the CLR uh, system, the 166 DBX and the Radio Shack uh, equalizer. He says, nah, he says, you really don't need it. I said, yeah, but it's something you built, my best friend there. So <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see there. So this has been working out fine. I got to step away for a minute. I got a technical uh, situation I got to take care of in a minute, but I'll be listening. But I heard Brett there and we haven't spoken and I heard you yesterday on there. So. And Tim Tron and I have been on a couple of times there. So, yeah, uh, Bruce, I'll let him know. He tried looking for the group, and he says he couldn't even find the group. I said, well, because probably it's private there. So I'll let, I'll, I'll let, uh, I'll let uh, Tim know that to send you an email and try to squeeze you in. W1WOR, over to you, Brett. WL7B, good morning. Hey, i got to take a quick break also. Actually, I gotta go. Um, well, I did post the picture of the board mounted in the Max on the Smug Mug site, the latest picture. So, 
Anyway, uh, that's another Bruce, right? Uh, I'm, I gotta go. Also, uh, thanks for the report, Paul. And uh, I will, I will probably try and post uh, that picture somewhere. But uh, I'll say 73. That I had to run. Um, so turn it over to. I think it's Bruce WL7B. And uh, good, good morning, gentlemen, from N2DTS. Okay, Brad and uh, Rob. See you guys later. <laughs> Okay, yeah, good morning, everybody. WL7B, name is Bruce, you are correct. Over here in Bristol, Connecticut. Just came down to, to finish up my morning coffee here before I start my my day. And, uh, well, I already started it anyway. You know, as you get older, sometimes you clog the toilet. So I just got done unclogging that. Thank God for the for the toilet snake. That was probably the best 40 bucks I ever spent. WL7B, what do you guys think? Wow, dead air. I, wh what did I do? I don't know, where'd everybody go, Bruce, sir? So did you get, did you find my email? Uh, you know, I haven't really looked yet. I've uh, been busy doing other things. 